Hello dears! Today we will make a lamp of infinite rotation on bearings using Arduino and control through the IR port. Let's get started. To begin, mark and sew off 4 pieces for future lamp racks. Don't forget to turn off the pendulum stroke. Now the process has become slower but without tips. For example, on one side the pendulum stroke is enabled, visible tips along the entire length, on the other side is off, excellent quality. Exactly connect 4 billets with the help of clamps and process. Not 3, but 4. It should look something like this. In the center of the rounding drill holes for the bearing. To get coaxial holes exactly to the fastening of the workpiece clamps and drill. Expand the holes to 17 mm. Try to insert the bearing. Great! To connect the power I will use this connector. It will be mounted on an external rack. Mark and drill. I very often use the engraver Hilda. I highly recommend it. Link to the product will leave in the description. The review is on the channel. Click on the tooltip at the top right. Rotary part made of aluminum profile. Mark the middle and retreat from the edge of 5 and 20 mm. I retreated 15, but it's too little. Put on safety glasses and use a cutting disc to make a cut. Try to insert the multifunction clip. It will hold the rotary part, serve as the axis and clamp the contact. I'll tell you about it later. Degrease the surface with alcohol. I will use a tape with LED's SMD 50-50-60 pieces per meter. On the profile perfectly fits 4 strips of 125 cm. There are two options for connecting the segments of the tape. Serial and parallel. I recommend parallel. The lamp will be much brighter. To tape I soldered terminals type woman. I recommend to isolate all contacts with thermal glue. Prepare the base. This profile is a little different. Drill a hole for the output wire to power the LED strip. The length of the entire base 138 cm. Now drill holes for the mounting racks. The main thing is not to confuse the location. Drill holes for screws in all for details. Make a little hole for the wire. To fix the gear motor smoothly, you need to center its shaft. To do this, insert the bearing, then install a special nozzle on the motor shaft. About the nozzle will tell you later. Note the place under the holes and drill. Next you need a piece of wire and to clamp the contact with bearing. I use 606Z.
Pressing the bearing is very convenient by clamp. Mount the engine. For easy connection of the LED strip I will use the terminals. It is better to use a special tool, wire crimper. I have no ticks so I'll be soldering. Clamp the contact. Now about the nozzle. On the one side made slots for aluminum profile, which will rotate, and on the other side of the recess for the shaft. This is the wiring diagram. You can control the lighting and rotation of the lamp from any remote control. You only need two unused buttons. Links to all components I will leave in the description to this video. This is a sketch I already uploaded to Arduino. You need to open the port monitor, identify the button codes and enter them in the appropriate places of the program. 0x and then the button code. Solder the wires to the connector and put the shrink tube. Electronics I fixed on a thick two-sided tape. To power the LED strip I use a cable with a cross section of 0.5 mm. It is designed for 6 amps. Now fasten all the racks on the base. The IR receiver must be within range of the control panel. To the lamp was convenient to manage. Black negative wire should be laid on the base to the other end of the lamp. Seal the wire to prevent damage. I fixed the wire with duct tape every 20 cm. Fix the contact with the bearing. Cut off excess. For lamination racks I use the packaging from the roller blinds. Width 45 mm. The distance between the racks I picked up for this size. Bend the edge and clamp it. I use the seal that came with the profile. On the other side to fix we'll have something to print on a 3D printer. I took all the necessary dimensions and created a simple 3D model in Fusion 360. Such need for pieces. One side of the lamp is ready. Contact lock on this side.
decided to put on heat shrink. For ease of installation of the lamp I decided to drill mounting holes at the distance of 10 cm from the legs. For installation on the wall you can make a little elongated hole to adjust the level. To cover the wires I modeled for the profile here is a sliding plug. Printed two pieces. The detail on the left was printed on the side. The detail on the right was printed with support with flat side up. Excellent quality. It just snaps and after connecting all the wires are covered under it. Installation of the rotary bar. The profile should be inserted into the holder until it stops and without releasing it slightly bend the rack and insert until it stops into the second holder. Move the panel back and make sure both ends are securely fastened. Then connect the terminals and slide the slider. Now the view from the side. Connect the power supply and test. I found an old remote control. One button switches the lamp on and off. And the other controls the rotation. Rotation in one direction only. As a result, the lamp was excellent. Quite bright, beautiful and functional. I use it every day. It's cool when you do something with your hands and it works. I'm going to go outside and show you what it looks like from the accelerated form. Thank you for watching this video. Evaluate, write, subscribe, share. If you wish, good luck, bye.